Well, it finally happened. Someone jumped over the ceiling in your family room. And that someone is Javier Sotomayor of Cuba. It was 33 years ago that Charlie Dumas of the United States became the first man to jump seven feet. Back then, it seemed inconceivable that a man may someday soar a foot higher. But last weekend at the Central American and Caribbean Championships in San Juan, Puerto Rico, Sotomayor leapt into a permanent place in history when he cleared the bar at 2 meters 44, 8 feet. Pandemonium ensued, and it was partly by luck and partly due to the effort of the officials that the crowd did not dislodge the bar and invalidate one of the great performances in track and field annals. A summit meeting between the past and present, Sotomayor, a self-motivated performer, doesn't rely upon outside competition to raise him to higher heights. There's really no one person. I've always been my own inspiration. I've loved track and field for a long time. When I was younger, my first athletic coach saw my potential as a high jumper. In my training, we used to do several events in track and field, but high jumping was my least favorite. He may have hated it back in high school, but starting with his first world record last September, Javier is now having a love affair with the high jump. He's intense about his concentration, psyching himself up or down depending on his state of mind. Like every high jumper, a true individual. I don't really know how unique my style is. It's just me. I do like to concentrate on my jump to an extreme. I will not attempt a height until I've reached that peak moment of concentration. By contrast, American high jump record holder Hollis Conway approaches his competitive preparation from a standpoint that excludes the human element. I try to compete against the bar. You know, before the meet, you know, you put a lot of emphasis on that. And even after the meet, depending on the outcome. But during the competition, I think every jumper, mine basically goes toward making each height. You know, when I'm standing up there jumping at 37, I'm not thinking about what I said to the crowd or what's going on. I'm thinking about what I have to do technically to make the height. You know, I think once I learn to relax at the higher height, because I haven't had experience at jumping at them, I, I would eventually clear higher heights. And right now, I think, you know, the reason I clear 39 is because I jumped maybe a 41 or 42 jump. Last weekend, Conway, inspired by Sotomayor's historic effort the night before, makes a little history of his own by raising the American record to 239 or 7 feet 10 inches. I'm a simple jumper. I, I don't put a lot into it, and I don't want to take a lot of it. I just want to run a good approach and have that fixed parabola, just let everything happen. I would definitely like to improve my marks. At this level, I know that it appears more difficult to keep improving, although I would be content if I couldn't better my record to at least stay at this extremely high level.